like this corner I actually got worried about on the check because it's, it's it was a tight turn, tight turn, and then it was uphill. And the funny thing is, is like there's an expression in uh, motorcycling that motorcycle instructors use a lot. It's called "when in doubt, gas it out." And what it means is, is when you're unsure what to do, like nine times out of ten, the correct thing is to just accelerate harder. And that's what happens with uh, see, you almost on the grass there. And we're, we're doing 30 kilometers an hour, so. Um, I, he's just checking out the views is what it is, too. So I should slow down more. Even though I'm going ridiculously slow, I should slow down even more just so that he can. But, um, uh, for example, switchbacks. Really tight corners. People have difficulty, like, doing a figure eight or really tight corners. Sometimes when you're going around a really tight corner, it feels like your motorcycle or scooter is just going to, like, fall on its side. It just, because you're going so slow and the corner's so tight. The key word there is so slow. If you just accelerate, it'll make the vehicle more stable and then, it'll, it, and then it won't feel like it's going to fall. It's, it'll start to, it'll stable and it'll start to rise. But if you just turn more and continue to take the corner, you'll be fine. It's just, that's one example where I see it commonly. People are taking these really tight corners. And I, I feel it myself too. I'll, be take, I'll slow down a lot for like a U-turn type of thing. And then I'll feel like the bike, because I'm going so slow, the bike feels like it just wants to drop on its side. But if you just give it a little bit of gas, and I'm, I'm not talking about gun it, obviously, because you're making a U-turn. I'm just saying a little bit of gas, just a little bit of acceleration, and then it, it'll just feel so much nicer. And it's the same thing for corners, believe it or not. Like, if, say I'm going at a high speed around this bend right here, and I'm going too high of a speed, and I'm going to hit the, I'm going off the road. If I accelerate more, actually, it, it uh, it'll actually pull me away from the curb. Because what happens in those situations is, when you think you're going too fast, and you think you're going to go off the road, people are always slowing down and braking, which and braking causes the vehicle to straighten up and go more, more so off the road. So to, if you, if you just to accelerate a bit more, it would actually get you back on track. Uh, anyways, we're totally off topic. Um, maybe that's... And then there's uh, and, and, and other examples where it, it works even more so is if, uh, if something like falls in front of you or something. Say a branch were to fall out of one of these trees and just to fall covering the entire road directly in front of me. When in, like, what do I do? Do I brake? Do I swerve? Uh, again, when in doubt, gas it out. So the correct thing to do is to accelerate. And to just to hit it because when you accelerate you take the weight off your front tire which enables you to, and you transfer it to the rear which should enable you to just to ride over the obstacle like just to you know because it lightens up your front so when your front hits it it can just bounce over it and then it it it, it uh, makes your rear more heavy so it's more stable so when the rear goes over it um, so when the rear goes over it it's just uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I do this for a living. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, yeah, but you, 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 if you, you know, if the, the, the rear tire can't turn, so you want to transfer your weight to the rear tires because when it hits an obstacle, it's not going to turn sideways and cause you to crash. The front tire will. You don't want extra weight on your front tire because when you hit an obstacle, it could, it could cause the front tire to turn. In which case, the bike will just flip on its side. Rear tire is fixed, it won't turn. So you, it's safe to transfer the weight to it. Or much safer than the front anyways, that's for sure. Nice views here. Yeah, that's fine. He's gonna take a picture. I told him anytime he wants to take a picture, just stop and do it. I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna. I'm not gonna know he didn't stop and ride away on him. I'm always looking at him in the mirror and whatnot. Hi, babies. Now that he's not following me, let's try this road again. I'm scaring myself already. You know, I, I, I've been doing tours so often that it's like the majority of the time I'm riding slow nowadays, so it's like I've almost forgotten how to ride fast, which is actually kind of depressing because I'm not used to it. Because I'm always. Ooh, I think the bump's there. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I'm scaring myself. But uh, there's these bumps in the road, man. This is like. I don't know if you can see them, but like. 
when I was going slow up the road, didn't even notice them. Now that I'm going quick, my, my, tire, my tires are getting like off the ground. They're huge. It's funny, when I was going slow, I didn't even notice these bumps, but they're huge. Mind you, with these speeds on these blind corners of a car would have come. Anyways, uh, that's at the end of the video, I guess. If one in doubt, gas it out. Um, yeah, it applies to most situations.